Hello Spawnlings and welcome back to Coding Corner. I'm Goose. I'm Julian. And in this series, we're learning how to program in Scratch. With the techniques you will learn in this series, you'll be well on your way to making your own games. All right, I can't wait to get into it today, Julian. What are we learning? Scrolling. Ah. This makes the background move around when you press the arrow keys. Ah, to create the illusion of movement, which is great for a platformer or any other game that needs a moving background. True that. Firstly, head to the Coding Corner section of our website here and get the files you'll need. Load up Scratch and then load four sprites and call them Sprite 1, 0, 1 and 2. Make sure these are their exact names. Go to Data and create two variables, Scroll X and Sprite Name. Select Sprite 1 and click the Scripts tab. From Events, start a new code stack with a one green flag clicked block. From data, place a set blank to blank block below that. Set the drop down to scroll X and leave the variable as zero. Below that, add a go to X Y block from motion. From control, add a forever loop below that and insert two if then clauses inside it. From sensing, insert a key pressed hexagon into the top of the first if then clause. Set the drop down to right arrow. Inside the if then, insert a change blank by blank block from data. Set the drop down to scroll x and the variable to negative three. Do the opposite for the second if then. Insert a key pressed block from sensing and set the drop down to left arrow. Inside the clause, insert a change blank by a blank block from data. Set the drop down to scroll X and set the variable to three. Now select the zero sprite. From events, drag across a when green flag clicked block. From motion, add a go to X, Y block. Below that, add a forever loop and inside the forever loop, add a set X to blank block from motion. Here it gets a little tricky. Go to operators and drag a blank plus blank oval into the set X to blank block. Then drag a blank multiplied by a blank oval into the rightmost slot in the blank plus blank oval. From data, drag scroll X into the left side of the blank plus blank operator and set the left side of the blank multiplied by blank to 480 and the right side of it to zero. For the sprites named one and two, create stacks of code identical to the stack you made for the zero sprite. Identical, but with one difference, the rightmost variable in the blank multiplied by blank operator. For the sprite marked one, set the variable to one. For sprite two, set it to two. You don't have to create those blocks by hand. You can simply right click and select duplicate. Now, the moment of truth. Use the left and right arrows and... Yes, the background scrolls. Ah, look at those gentle rolling hillsides. Kind of like looking out of the window on a long car trip. Ooh, well, I get car sick though. Oh. Some games make their backgrounds look even more realistic by having several background layers all moving at different speeds. This effect is called parallax. Now you have the basics down, you could challenge yourself by trying to make your own scrolling platformer. I just might have to give that a go. Remember, Spawnlings, all the Coding Corner lesson notes can be found here. Until next time, Goose out. Julian out. Oh, oh I'm feeling car sick again, Julian. Oh, there, there, Goose. Oh, dear. There, there. Mm. Oh, thanks very much for that, Goose and Julian. Darren, my background isn't working. Oh, you have to set that bit to transparent, but there's no time to fix it because you two have to go to the R Spawn Point desk. <laughs> Don't forget your laptops. You'll need them.